So I may have just discovered a glitch in Diablo 2 Resurrected, or to be honest, I'm calling it a glitch, but it could perhaps just be a stealth addition or a stealth change that the devs made at some point. I don't know why they exactly would, but it could have different implications from either shaving a few seconds off of each one of your different magic find runs, whether Mephisto, running LK, running Trav, or there could even be some speedrunner implications. Now, I don't think this is like game breaking, but it could be something that you probably never noticed that they changed from old Diablo 2 to the new one, and maybe you might want to take advantage of. Now, even though this is a Diablo 2 resurrected video, we actually need to start in old school Diablo in order to show you what the change or glitch is. Now, this is just an HD widescreen mod. This is what I played on before Diablo 2 resurrected came out. It's exactly identical though, to regular Diablo 2 just with the better graphics and it's of course widescreen. Now to show you this, we have to jump over to where I said this was at, Act 3. And once we're there, we gotta go ahead and run the entire docks down over here to where Mashif is. Yeah, usually there's no reason to come down here and usually when you save an exit from Act 3, it's such a pain to have to run these entire docks. But if you come over to Mashif, you go ahead and sail west, which usually you come the other direction when you finish Act 2, it drops you off right by the boat here that you go ahead and take to Act 3. But let's go ahead and take a look at what happens if you do this in Diablo 2 Resurrected. And here we are on my ladder, Barbarian. Let's go ahead and talk to Mashif. Let's go ahead and sail west and end up in the exact same spot we did in regular... Oh, wait a second. It actually drops us where you would normally start off Act 2 when you save an exit or when you first come to Act 2. And there actually is a little bit of a benefit to getting dropped right here. If it dropped you at Mashif right here over by his boat, the place where you'd have to go to sail east. Now, what could you do from here? There's nothing nearby. If we go ahead and look at the map, you go ahead and look over and most of you will know the stash and the people to sell to are way over here. The waypoint is way over there. So just for example, look at this long run just to get over to the stash. Or let's say you actually want to go somewhere. We're running, we're running and we're finally to the waypoint. But now, if you sail west from Act 3, it drops you right here, right next to, oh, Warvir, and you can actually go west backwards on the caravan, and boom, you end up in Act 1, directly next to the stash, instantly being able to click on it, or you're right next to the waypoint. Now, let's see what happens if I load in with Lions Super Bowl Champs. I made this character, like, months ago. We all know that's not gonna happen, but anyways, what if we load in directly to Act 3 now? Obviously, if you're running Trav, you're going to save an exit, come down here, and you'd have to run the entire docks. But wait, no, you don't. You can sail west over here at Mashif, and then go ahead and travel west from Warvir. And then if you need to do any stash moving right there, the waypoint's right next to you to go ahead and hop back to Trav. And perhaps you could even save yourself a bunch of time right there. Now I say we do a little bit of an experiment. Let's go ahead and time out the difference between running the docks, getting the waypoint and going to Trav, relative to traveling west, and then traveling west again, and then getting yourself out to Trav. Because everything after getting the Trav, the kill speed and all that stuff, it's gonna be identical, but if you can save a few seconds right here, that can be more runs per hour. Now let's go ahead and start that in three, two, one, go. There's one sail west, and you notice we're going through two load screens. If you're on console, I heard they're a little bit slower than on PC, but if you got good load screens like this, it's that fast. Now let's go ahead and compare that exact time to running the docks here in three, two, one, go. Run, 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 run. And so we don't have the load screens, but we do have a really long run right here. And there you go. Which one's faster? Ah, rats, so the double travel method isn't faster than running the docks there. For the Barbarian there when you're running Trav, let's try a different farming technique. See if this is going to be faster than the old school methods. Now we're going to go ahead and say you're running Mephisto. So for each one of these ones, we're going to start off with Mephisto already dead because kind of part of what you're eliminating is a load screen from going through the standard way you'd go through the portal to Act 4. But we're going to test this against the portal to Act 4, just instantly saving and exiting and then coming back in and running the docks or saving and exiting and then going ahead and going the Mashif way. I have an idea of which one this one's gonna be faster, but let's go ahead and take a look. First, we'll go with the portal method. So you teleport down here, telekinesis the portal, and then go ahead and save and exit. And then you wanna go ahead and join as fast as you can. And we wanna to get to the Durance of Hate to Waypoint, and that's where the timer will end. Everything else beyond that will stay the same. We're gonna start each one with Mephisto already dead. Alrighty, there's Mephisto down. Let's go ahead and just with the standard save and exit method.
and then of course running the entire docks. There we have that one. Alright, he's down. Now this is the save and exit and then the double travel. There we go. Traveling over to Act 3 and then the Mashif Warveer. Bang, bang. And then go ahead and telekinesis the waypoint once again. And there we are. Durance of Fate, level 2. Let's take a look at which one is faster. Now, the first two running Trav with a Barbarian or something like that, or running Mephisto with the Sorceress, and neither one of them is ends up being faster than the good old standard methods that are fast. But hey, I got one more up my sleeve. How about offline single player when you're running lower Kuros? Now, this one has a real opportunity here. Now, I do not have a great lower Kuros map on this particular character, but we're going to go ahead and start the timer at the very end of a lower Kuros run here. And for this particular one, the good old standard method would be going back to the waypoint, going to act four, and then coming back into the game, telekinesis in the waypoint, and coming back to lower Kuras. So the timer is going to be from the end of the lower Kuras run, which would be right here, to the time that you get to lower Kuras again. So without spending an hour or two farming up an absolutely perfect lower Kuras map, let's see if we get here, and we're started up right now. So we do have a little bit of a teleport back to the waypoint, which can lose us a little bit of time here, but you don't always have a perfect map, am I right, fellas? And I mean, I guess you could spend several hours farming a perfect map, but not everybody has that luxury. And there we are back at Lower Kurost. Now, here we are once again, starting up another Lower Kurost run, and this time we're gonna do the run the docks method. This is what I do when I am just feeling incredibly lazy and I'm not worried too much about efficiency. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be slower. I don't know with a, this is kind of a suboptimal LK map, but I don't know if this is necessarily going to be slower or not. Let's go ahead and take a look at the time. Good thing we're not timing the run because this is suboptimal right there, but there we are. Done with that one. Now let's go ahead and save and exit, firing up the timer right here. Just exiting right away, saving the time, going all the way back to the waypoint. Boom. But saving that time, we do have this entire dock to run. Now there are different tricks you could do, harmony, bow, and putting a more walk run on. But generally, you're not going to do all that stuff. There we are. And we're here for another lower Kuros run. And this time, we're going to go ahead and rock the double travel method. So we're going to be hitting uh, Mashif. And then we're going to be hitting Warveer, going back to Act 1. And then go ahead and uh, heading our way out to uh, lower Kuros here. Seeing which one's faster. So there, that one is done. Let's go ahead and fire up that timer as we save and exit here. So we have this entire load screen, of course, just like the run the docks method, but we do not actually have to run the docks. We can go ahead and sail west. We can go ahead and travel west again. And here we are, uh, ready to telekinesis the waypoint and head back to lower Kurost. So there we go. Let's go ahead and check the timer there because I don't really know which one is necessarily faster. So unfortunately, this glitch or stealth change doesn't look any more beneficial than the old methods for doing all these different type of farming things. Let me know down in the comments if you know of any way or can think of any way that this could help you out, whether you're farming or maybe even speedrunners could utilize this stealth change or new glitch here in Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's new news to me. Maybe you knew about it, but I did not. Peace out, fellas. Keep slaying.